All right, this is Andrew Cabo, and today I want to show you guys the Kingdom Fire HDX7 and Safe Trap. This is an app that's going to let you do some modifications on your Kindle Fire HDX. Uh, it's only available right now for the HDX7. It's made by Hashcode, very talented developer who's always um, been working out on working on the Kindles for us, and uh, uh, big props uh, to him. And uh, hopefully, I think he's working on the 8.9, so that should be coming up. Uh, support should be coming up soon. But Safe Trap is going to be what's going to allow us to do modifications. Because right now, if you do any modifications on the stock software, which is what I'm booted in right now, um, there's a good chance of bricking. In fact, I've already bricked my device, so you need to be careful. But but Safe Trap is going to allow you to do modifications, basically on a copy of your stock without actually doing it on the stock software. So you need to be rooted. And as you can see, I am rooted. I have super user. Um, uh, I have super user uh, access here. You can see there's the app uh, which has permission. So, and I have the video, uh, the link for the video is up top and it'll also be in the description. So, rooting is pretty easy. Once you're rooted, SafeTrap is just an app. You can just install it. And once you install it, what you want to do is come in here and just hit install recovery. And it will simply install the recovery that you need. And that's it. And you can always uninstall the recovery. And you also have an option to reboot to recovery straight from SafeTrap. But I'm going to turn this off and on because I want to show you guys. Once you install the recovery, what it will look like um, when you boot, because this is what you're always going to get uh, when you boot the device. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off right now, and we're going to turn it back on. Okay. Okay, so you're going to get the normal Kindle Fire gray screen. Okay, that we're used to, but you'll see what was going to happen is now Safe Trap is going to uh, come in, and you're going to have 10 seconds here. Um, as you can see, this is showing you. Uh, this is showing you that safe trap is disabled and you can continue or go to recovery. So uh, we didn't press anything, so it's going to boot up into the stock software as, um, as you can see. Um, but if you want to go to recovery, uh, you would have hit the recovery button um, at that time. But we can always, um, we can always reboot uh, by going uh, through the app as well. So we're going to do that next. We're going to go through the app and go into recovery, so I want to show you guys what we need to do. Okay, so let's open that up and just reboot straight to recovery from here. And I'm going to show you guys how to use Safe Trap. So this way you're not going to uh, break your Kindle, which is very important. Okay, so we're going to just hit reboot to recovery. Okay, and we're going to go straight. This is going to allow us to go straight into the recovery. All right, so I'll just take a quick second here. And the recovery here is actually based on twerp. So um, if you're, um, you're familiar with recoveries on Android devices, then this will be somewhat similar, uh, similar for you. OK, so you can see there it is. Um, that's our recovery. And it says it's based on uh, twerp 2.6.3.1. Okay, so a few things that are very important. The first thing is we're going to need to create ROM slots. And as you can see, one thing that's important is at the very top, it actually tells you right there what your ROM slot that you're working on right now. And that's a very important one. So right now we're on stock. And so you're not going to want to do any modifications on stock. Okay, that's the whole point of it. Otherwise, you're going to break your device. The only thing you want to do the first time is go ahead and back up your stock. So you want to go into the backup option. And here, just choose data system, and you're going to want to swipe and back up. Okay, so this will create a backup of your stock. Um, and then what we're going to do, once we have a backup of our stock, uh, what you want to do is go to boot options. Now, here is where you have ROM slots. So basically, this will be areas where you create another partition, and you can copy over, for example, your stock software, or once custom ROMs are available, you can flash custom ROMs here. Uh, I've already created a ROM slot. If, if not, you can... You're going to need to do that. So go into a ROM slot, and uh, you'll be able to here uh, choose your different sizes, your partition sizes. So if you're going to be, this is going to be used regular. You might want to make the data partition larger. But regardless, you're going to do that and create a ROM slot. Now I've already created one, um, so I'm going to show you guys here. Um, if I go to boot options, if I go to ROM slot one, okay, it's going to get, since I've already created, it's going to give me the option to activate it. So I'm going to activate it. So now you can see at the top here, very important that I've changed now to ROM slot, ROM slot one. So that means now I'm working on the ROM slot, no longer on the stock. And that's very important. Um, so that, that that way, if something goes wrong with this software, you can always go back into the stock one. And so if that's the case, you would just go home 
go back to boot options and you can go back to stock and say activate okay and so now you can see that the at the top now it changed to ROM slot uh, stock okay so again the first thing you want to do is once you're on stock just go create a backup once you've created a backup you've created your ROM slot what you can do is once you're in the ROM slot activate it and now you can go to restore and you can use this I don't have any backup right now so you can use this to restore uh, what you just backed up from your stock so basically now you have an exact copy of your stock software and you can boot up into it now, now once you have that then you can do modifications and one thing that's available now that you can do and I'm gonna put the link in there is to flash the gaps so now you will have uh, the whole Google Apps including the Play Store and it is working if you flash it uh, it may have some issues with the Amazon still uh, but again if what you can do is you can always boot back and forth between the two as I've showed you so if you want to do Amazon stuff you can boot into the stock software use the Amazon services if you want your Play Store stuff you can boot into the ROM slot um, and use your Google Play Store. Now that's not ideal. Previously on Kindle Fires, we we're able to do, have both of them working together, but Amazon really um, has locked this device down quite a bit, and it's made it very hard. And even what we've done here, uh, you know, with hash code and and the routing from JCase and others, has been uh, has been really phenomenal. And uh, you know, big shout out to those guys for helping make this happen. So again, the last the important thing is remember, don't uh, do modifications on your don't do modifications on your stock software that's very important only do it on the ROM slots okay uh, so just simply back up your stock and then go into a ROM slot restore it and Hashcode also has a has a base uh, stock software available if you want to use that instead so um, that's it all the links are going to be in the description for you guys um, and I hope this helps you guys you can get Google Play Store on there now by flashing the gaps and hopefully you guys will have more fun with your Kindle, I'm actually heading out of the country and I'm going to be watching. I've downloaded a bunch of movies on Prime and I'm looking forward to watching them on my Kindle. So, if you guys enjoy your Kindle out there, and happy holidays to everybody, and we'll see you in 2014.